Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Notice where you feel the breathing in the body. Focus your attention there. Then ask yourself if it's comfortable. If long breathing feels good, keep it up. If not, you can change. Shorter, faster, slower, heavier, lighter. You get to choose what kind of breathing you like right now. Whatever feels good for the body, soothing for the mind, energizing when you need energy, relaxing when you need to relax. Keep tabs on your breath. The Buddha calls this bodily fabrication. It's where our intentions begin in terms of our physical acts. If you're going to do something, it has to come through the breath. So if you're located at the breath, whatever you plan to do, you can see clearly as it goes past whether this is going to be skillful or not. Because our lives are shaped by our actions. And for the most part, we're not here. The decisions are being made here. The actions take place here. This can be actions in the body, speech, mind. But all too often we're off someplace else. We we'll give only a little bit of our attention to our choices right now, paying attention to something else. Especially nowadays with our screens. You have to remember the message of the screens is that what you're doing right now is not important. Somebody else, someplace else, is doing something more important. But you can't believe that message, because those other people may have an impact on your life, but they're not really shaping it. The, people who, the person who is shaping your life is you right here, right now. So you want to be 100% here, right here, right now. So you can know when an intention comes up, whether it's going to go in a good direction or a bad direction. You have to ask yourself, what do you expect as a result? As the Buddha said, wisdom begins with the question, what when I do it will lead to my long-term welfare and happiness? What when I do it will lead to my long-term harm and suffering? So you've got to think about the consequences of your actions. So that's something you have to keep in mind. This is what mindfulness is. Sometimes we hear that mindfulness simply means being aware of whatever is happening and allow it to happen, accept it. The Buddha very rarely uses the word accept. The things that you accept, he said, are the fact that there is physical pain and the fact that people will say unpleasant things about you, unpleasant things to you. You have to learn how to accept that. But you don't just leave it there. The question is, do you have to suffer from these things? And his answer is no. But you have to act skillfully around things like that. And this is what mindfulness is for, is to remind you that your actions will have consequences. And you can remember past actions, what the consequences were for those. And you want to apply that knowledge to your choices right now. So you're alert to what you're doing, you're mindful of what you've learned from the past. And you're ardent to do this well, both for the sake of well-being in the present and for the sake of well-being in the future. And this way with these three qualities, mindfulness, alertness, ardency, you've got the past, present, and future covered. There may be unexpected things happening, but if you train the mind well, you'll be more likely to respond in a skillful way, in a way that does have good long-term consequences. So think about the long term, but at the same time, be 100% right here. That What that means is apply the knowledge that's relevant to what your choices are right now. And as for things that are not relevant to your choices, just let them go. And this way your life gets shaped in the right direction, a direction that does lead to long-term welfare and happiness. Something we all want, and something that we can attain if we pay attention, and if we're mindful of what we're doing. For 100% right here.